Before you head to the dog park, you may want to listen to this next story. The county is putting on a free dog park etiquette class, and Casey says it's very necessary. Well, yeah, it is for <laughs> more than just the dogs. Action News reporter Tina Patel live at Dog Fanciers Park. So, Tina, what kind of skills are the dogs and humans learning? Well, it's not about obedience. It's about simple kind of manners, if you will. And now that the sun's up, well, Ferdo, we've actually seen a lot more people come to the dog park. We've got the Action News Hawk, and you can see just how many people are here with their pets. And there's already been some near problems. Yeah, um, when you have a responsible dog handler, uh, you can avoid a lot of problems. We, we watched uh, a lady come in here with a big Great Dane, um, and she had the Great Dane held tight to her while she went to the area that she was going to let her dog play in. And then a big Rottweiler came up to that dog. That could have been a potential problem if um, she didn't control her Great Dane because the Rottweiler, even though he he was not being aggressive he was being overly interested in a great dane and she knew that the tolerance level was high she kept that from being a problem one of the nice things that we're seeing this morning is dogs are seeming to kind of go to their own areas to kind of avoid those problems but then you also said some of the dogs we've seen they get really close to each other on each side of the fence and that's something you need to keep an eye on too right yeah you know manners are manners whether you're behind a fence or not and the problem with some handlers is they allow the dogs to fence fight they're barking behind a fence the problem with that is you're you're giving them license to to not have good manners because when you don't have a fence available if they act that way that could become a problem so the dog etiquette class that you're giving this afternoon is really about having having awareness of your dog and keeping an eye on how they're interacting with the other dogs right right just pay attention to your dog and redirect energy if the energy is not acceptable and that's the great thing about a park like we're at right now, Dog Fanciers, is that it's so big. If you see a problem, you can just move. You said you can just simply move your dog to another part of the park, focus them in a different area. Remember, we're here to have fun. This area was created so dogs can run and have fun. We're not saying we don't want you to have fun. Is be, be aware of your dog's energy and redirect the energy to another side of the park so it could be more safe. Well, it's such a great thing that you're having the class because what you did say to me earlier is that there have been people that have come to dog parks, had a bad experience, and never come back. So this is a way that you can just learn a couple tips so you know you can come here and everyone can have a good experience. Yeah, the idea is for everyone to take advantage of the resources that we have here. Um, it's, it's a great idea. We just need to have good manners. Perfect, guys. The class is from 4 to 5.30 today, and if you can't come today, they're actually going to do this free class every second Wednesday of the month. So there's plenty of opportunities to come and talk to some people who are experts and get a, a few t ideas on how you can better control your dog. And, and yeah, the one thing I guess we've been saying all morning that it's not necessarily the dogs we have to pay attention to. It's the owners that need to know about etiquette. Casey and Lisa? Yes, indeed. Bingo. And Tina, we have a question from the studio. Kim Smith wants to know what an owner yeah. should do if the dogs actually get into a fight. Now, if the dogs actually get into a fight, what should an owner do? Should they step in? You need to grab your dog. Each owner grabs their dog because most of these dogs don't have manners to begin with. They're not going to listen to you if you say stop. So you have to grab your dog and pull them away. Physically get in there and actually that's what we saw this morning is there was one owner who wasn't necessarily paying attention and it's a good thing the other owner was. All right. Yeah. Good advice. Very good advice. Both of them need to get in there. Yeah. All Thank right. you. Thank Tina. you, Tina.